He is known as the king of horror, responsible for over 65 of the scariest books on the market, including Carrie and The Shining. And now Stephen King's here to talk about his latest novel, Holly. Give it up for Stephen King, everybody. The legend. Uh, Michael, thank you. Well, Stephen, I'm saying over 65 books. Do you ever run out of ideas? No, I just like to stay one ahead. And if I can stay one ahead, I'm a happy gay. I'm a happy guy. And, um, you know, we know Holly, the name of your new book. Holly, the reoccurring um, character in the Stephen King multiverse. What do you love about this character? Well, she kind of walked on in the first book, and she was supposed to be a minor character. Mm -hmm. And I just sort of fell in love with her because she's kind of... Uh, you know, insecure, and yet at the same time, she has a lot of courage, and those two things fight against one another. And for me, that's what makes a character interesting, when you see them go against their basic nature. So she's fun. She's fun. And this, this book's a little different than a usual horror that your fans have come to grow and love. So tell us about it. Well, it's uh, Holly at this point is a private investigator, and she runs a firm called Finders Keepers. And this woman comes to her, hmm and says, uh, my daughter is missing, uh, can you help to find her? And Holly is kind of grieving because she's lost her mother to COVID. And she still agrees to help this woman out. And she stumbles across a series of killings and uh, a couple of nasty people who are doing these things. And the interesting thing about the nasty people is that they are elderly college academics who've just gone to the dark side. <laughs> gone to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, they've gone to the dark side. You know, next year, it marks 50 years since you wrote about another young lady, um, a woman named Carrie. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did that change your life? changed in, in a big way. We were living in an apartment with two kids and I was selling stories to some of the men's magazines and we were just barely making out. You know, I was, I was teaching school and mm -hmm. in the summertime in order to make ends meet I was working in a laundry and uh, Carrie sold for like $400,000 to paperback and uh, I was so excited. It was Sunday when I got this news the only thing open was a drugstore, so I went out and bought my wife a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think of, man. A hair dryer. Yeah. That's all you could think. You know what? But but there would be no carry if it weren't if for it Tabitha wasn't for because Tab. she fished it out of the garbage can. Yeah, I thought it was uh, too long to be short and too short to be long, and I just kind of mm. threw it away and. Uh, went into the wastebasket and she fished it out and read the page and said, you really ought to go on with this. And I said, it's about girls and there's a locker room and there's all this uh, stuff about young ladies. And she said, I will help you. And she did. Wow. She did. And you know what she did? You've been, you've been wearing the same wedding ring for 52 years. This one right here. This yeah. right, $7.50. $7.50. And, 50 cents. $7 .50 and uh, I went back on the bus with my wife. We didn't know the car was broken down. And I said, gee, I hope these rings don't turn our fingers green. And she said, I hope we're married long enough to find out. Well, you have been. <laughs> I tell you what, oh, you got a big awe. Everybody, yeah. you, you, you really like, oh, we, we love him so yeah. much. This man has scared all of us, everybody. <laughs> Mr. King, always a pleasure it's, to see you. It's Congratulations great to see you. Thank you. On another book, Holly. It is available now. Make sure you check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.